guys. Figured I'd give you a quick walk around. Um, working on Ed's car all this past week, uh, the last four days. He was out here from uh, from Texas. Um, we picked up his car from the painter. And so he spent a couple days with us here in the shop doing some of the reassembly on the car. So I figured I'd give you a quick walk around of the car. We, um, I didn't know how eager he was going to be to having me film in the shop while I was here. So I thought it best just to uh, postpone that and just update the Facebook page with some pictures so that you guys could see what we were doing. And uh, I figured I'd just kind of give you an overview of what we did since it's been back from the painter. So let's take a look and see what we've done. Starting at the front of the car. Of course, we put all of the front light, uh, headlight assemblies in, the turn signals with the clear lenses. We're going to run some uh, 3157 amber lamps in those, um, both sides. We got the quick jocks in when we had it over at Miller's for the um, initial body fitment. But I always like to cut these spacers back a little bit and tuck the the quick jacks or even the bumpers in closer to the car because it just these things are already death to your shins as you walk around the car in the garage so as close the closer you can get them to the car the better and they just look cooler that way but as you can see through the the brake duct opening there we've still got the wires still need to be um, finished we need to put the rest of the split loom in and get the wires all tucked away and uh, keep everything nice and neat um, we've got this the side pipes um, permanently mounted now the new design on the headers let me see let me grab a flashlight see if i can get a flashlight in there so we can have some some light on the subject here so the new headers um have this this kind of ball and socket swivel deal and you would think oh that'd be that's going to be great because then we can get the side pipes to align next to the car and they'd be awesome the problem is is no matter how tight you get those bolts with with not a whole lot of force you can get those side pipes because of the leverage you've got to move up or down a little bit so we got those bolts as tight as we could possibly get them without you know stripping them out or ruining something and of course we had to run the side pipe hangers because that ball and socket's really the only th other thing holding them um, i'm not a fan of the factory five rear mounts but in this case, I don't think we have a choice anymore. So those are in and done. The only thing I have to do is go back and change out the uh, non-locking hardware, the bolts that hold the headers to the side pipes out because we use um, the copper um, RTV rather than gaskets. And so it's nice to be able to just run the bolts down real quick to let that RTV harden overnight. And then we'll just change the bolts one, out of, uh, one at a time out for the locking hardware. So those will probably be done here the next couple days. We got the windshield in. So the windshield turned out awesome. We've got the windshield trims in. Um, these are a piece from our buddy Mike Everson over at Replica, Replica Car Parts. And, uh, of course, we got the Factory 5 wind wings in. We've just left the uh, covering on them to keep them protected for the time being. Um, interior hasn't changed. Everything pretty much looks the same in there. We got the Le Mans cap installed with the gas cap, um, the all of the hardware, the screws that hold this down. And then, of course, inside the wheel well, the filler tube, which you saw before, um, we've got a piece of two inch rubber hose that connects all that. Uh, the back of the car, we've got the quick jacks again. We tuck those in nice and close to the body. Of course, we've got the tail lights on. They're all in and working. Same thing back here. We've got to tuck the wire in, dress it out so it's nice and neat and get that finished up. There's still a lot of work on the car to do, but um, we tried to get all the pretty stuff, the stuff that we could do in a short amount of time while um, Ed was here. So it looked like a car when he left so it was nice to have that stuff done the trunk let's see what are we doing the trunk oh um, of course we're storing everything in the trunk right there we've got um, a trim piece that miller painted up for us that goes right on there to cover up the wire way and finish off the bottom of the trunk we've got that ready to go we've got the roll bar mount inside the trunk installed that's kind of hard to see with the lighting we got um the strut, uh, trunk struts are in, but they, they just don't seem strong enough to hold it open. So we've ordered some uh, 
um, new struts that are about uh, five pounds stronger per side. We're going to try those out and see how they work. Um, the roll bar is in. Um, you, you saw we've, we're running this roll bar two inches lower than the stock height that uh, the car is delivered with. And I think it really came out nice. I think with the profile of the car, it's just a tiny bit uh, higher than the windshield. And I think it just, it looks so much better than having it just stick way up like it, uh, like it does when it's supplied with the car. So we've got the roll bar trims resting there. I've got a couple screws in, but I've got to get um, a longer drill bit so that we don't uh, scuff up the roll bar any. The drill bit that I have is for the larger screws. And so I, I don't want to use that and uh, have the, the screws waller out inside there. Um, other than that, I think that's a pretty good overview of everything on the car. I'll, uh, I'll open up the hood. Nothing really changed under the hood. Um, I just got to say Jeff Miller over at Miller Customs just, just does an awesome job painting. Um, everything just looks so nice. So the underside of the hood. Just came out beautiful. Um, the engine compartment on this thing, I've just fallen in love with. It just looks so nice with the turkey pan and the, uh, the expansion tank. It just, it really looks like a Cobra should look. Um, not a whole lot to finish underneath the hood. We've got the, uh, on the far side of the car, we've got the access panel for the foot box. It's going to have to be um, taken care of. But, uh, a lot of little details still need to be done on the car. The mirrors obviously need to be installed. The rearview mirror, the uh, the side mirrors, the louvers. The, you know, the louvers go on the side over here. So all that kind of stuff we still got to do. We've got to do the oil cooler and the aluminum that uh, makes up the uh, the inside of the nose of the car. But uh, we really got a lot done these last couple days in the shop. And uh, we're looking forward to getting this one all wrapped up and uh, getting it delivered to the owners. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the little overview of, uh, of Ed's car. It's going to be tough now because we've got two blue cars in the shop. So I can't just refer to it as the blue car because we've got this blue car. And technically that's a blue car too. We pulled off the body on this one because we had room in the trailer when we uh, got Ed's car back here to the shop. So we pulled that body off. It's going to make that one uh, a lot easier to work on now. Um, so I'm still going to be calling... The first blue car the blue car and then i guess we'll refer to this one as the texas blue car or just the texas car but anyway so there's a there's a little insight on what's going on in the shop here i hope you all have a good day thanks for watching